The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden Coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team. Quick update for you guys today. We have some new flashback cards in the game. It is Thursday, which means, yeah, there are always new flashback cards in the game. I don't know why they didn't do flashback Fridays, but anyway, whatever. This is the new Ryan Kerrigan card, guys. This is a flashback to week two of the 2014 season. He had a pretty beastly game that day. Um, I, I'm trying to remember exactly what happened that game, but I'm pretty sure he got like, yeah, I think he, yeah, he sacked Chad Henney four times. I was going to say that I thought he had four sacks. So, yeah, he definitely had just an absolutely monster game that day. Uh, the Redskins as a team had 10 sacks in that game. Now, this card is pretty damn nice. It does give you guys the pass rush chemistry times two. So that's nice, uh, which does give you acceleration, power move, and finesse move. And then it also has the edge setter as well, which gives you strength, block shed, and play recognition defensively. So that's pretty damn cool. Now, its attributes are nice overall. I don't think it's like the best card in the game or anything like that, but it's definitely very, very good. It's pretty high priced right now, though, unfortunately, because it is a new flashback card. So you are going to be spending up if you want this one. But if you are a Redskins fan or if you're just a guy that's looking for a good pass rushing outside linebacker, Kerrigan can do it for you guys. If you take a look, 84 speed, 87 excel. That's pretty darn good. It's not the best, but definitely good. Um, decent catching for if you are going to be dropping him into coverage. I wouldn't really recommend that with this card. I really would take advantage of the things that it's best at, which is getting after the quarterback. So if you go down here and you take a look at its actual pass rush maneuvers, you've got power move at a 94 and a finesse move at an 82. Now, we do know that with those chemistries, we are getting a boost on those attributes as well, a plus one, which will give us a 95 and an 83. It also can give us uh, block shedding and play recognition as well with other chemistry boosts. So you're seeing here, guys, that you're getting some pretty nice attributes overall. Um, this is, again, not one that you really want to use in coverage too much, in my personal opinion, but uh, definitely a good card overall, and I love the fact that it's got 91 hit power as well. So if it does come clean off the edge as an outside linebacker into the quarterback, it is going to do some serious damage. So uh, definitely a good card to start off uh, today with a new flashback. I, I definitely like this one. Like I said, it's pretty expensive right now going for cheapest one. Let's see here. 440, I think. Yeah, 439,000 right now on the PlayStation 4. Now, the other card that was added into the game today is a fullback Mike Tolbert. Pretty interesting because I think you could argue that this is the best fullback in the game right now. Now, of course, fullback is a position that most of us pretty much disregard because a lot of formations just simply don't make use of a fullback. You know, if you're running a lot of shotgun or uh, even a lot of other formations like a single back and things like that, your fullback's typically not going to be on the field. However... If you are somebody that likes to run a lot of close formations or if you like to pound the rock, a fullback is a pretty important player to have on your field. You want to have a guy that can not only do a good job blocking but can also catch passes out of the backfield and can potentially even run the ball himself. A lot of people love to use that fullback dive out of eye form near the goal line or even out of uh, the goal line formation. The fullback dives are pretty effective in this game, and we've also seen some shotgun runs and things like that where you have two running backs on the field, might want to swap in Mike Tolbert or one of these other fullbacks that we have on your screen here as a potential guy that you can use. Now, I'm going to zoom in here on this so that you guys can get a better idea kind of of uh, the attributes that we're taking a look at today. Uh, so obviously, guys, the one that we the new one here is this Mike Tolbert. Pretty damn good card. I'm not going to say it's the best fullback in the game right now because I think, again, it depends on how you use your fullback. So if we go down here and we take a look, the first thing that I do want to point out is that Mike Tolbert does not have the clutch trait. Now, it's hard to really determine exactly what that exactly means. But the only card that does have it is this Max Strong. So we're going to be comparing him, obviously, to the Max Strong and then also to the Michael Burton. These are, I think, what most people would consider to be the three best fullbacks in the game right now. Obviously, Burton's going for 175k. Max Strong going for about 266k on the PlayStation 4. A little bit cheaper for both of them on the, the Xbox One. But again, the clutch trait is only a Max Strong thing. Uh, and then as you go down, you're going to see some of the other ones as well. 
the covers ball for uh, your Max Strong and also for your Mike Tolbert is only for big hitters. This one is only for medium hitters. So Michael Burton can only go after, uh, can only do it for medium hitters. I'm pretty sure how that's how it works anyway. Michael Burton might also do it for big hitters, so it might be both. But either way, uh, the big thing that I think this Mac, that uh, the, uh, excuse me, the uh, Mike Tolbert has is that it does have the fight for extra yards. And that is definitely an important thing when you're talking about goal line rushing if you get hit in the backfield and you need to pick up like one inch a lot of times we get in those fourth and inches situations and somehow let's say a guy comes shooting through and hits you in the backfield there are times where your Mike Tolbert will actually still just fight on through that and pick up the yardage that you need to get the first down so that could be a very very important thing and I definitely like to see that out of a Mike Tolbert I think it's an underrated thing and it's not something that shows up on the standard on the um, basic attributes on the back of the card a couple other things that I want to take a look at here the speed difference between Mike Tolbert and these other guys he is the slowest of the bunch by only one or two um, actually three I guess uh, in the, the the highest end here but the big thing guys is that he is still gonna be decent enough speed now he's not got he doesn't definitely doesn't have breakaway speed and really none of the fullbacks at least that I can think of right now do have that but Tolbert does have some of the other things that we really look for when we're talking about a good running back. One thing that I do want to point out is that he has the best catching of the bunch at a 73, and we'll take a look at some of the other catching attributes that he has beyond that as well. He does also have some nice acceleration at an 84. It's not the fastest of the bunch. Like, if you go back up here, Michael Burton is the fastest of the bunch. He has the best, I think, speed. Yeah, he does have the best speed and the best acceleration. Now, Max Strong does beat out Mike Tolbert by two for speed, but his acceleration is quite a bit lower at a 79. So I think you could actually make the case that Mike Tolbert is actually a little bit quicker, and I do like that out of him as well. Now, the big differences here between your Mike Tolbert and these other guys is that Mike Tolbert can carry the ball like a running back. He has 92 trucking. That is substantially higher than either of the other guys that we're going to take a look at here. Higher elusiveness as well by a big substantial amount, 14 and 18 in comparison to your other running backs or to your other fullbacks. The ball carrier vision is also another thing, way, way higher, all the way down. Stiff arms, way, way higher. Spin move, way higher. It's not even close. These guys are not even in the same vicinity as Mike Tolbert when it comes to actually carrying the ball. And his carrying is the big one, guys. If you take a look, 91 carrying, that means he is not going to fumble the ball very often. Max Strong and uh, and also Armstrong, or excuse me, Burton, I'm sorry, I don't know why I said Armstrong. Uh, yeah, but both of those guys are going to struggle if they get hit in the backfield by a big hitter. They're going to fumble the ball sometimes. Mike Tolbert is not going to do that nearly as often. Now, I talked about the catching attribute before. His pure catching is a little bit higher than these guys, but in the other areas, he's substantially higher. Route running, 77. You compare that to a 54 for, for your strong and a 50 for Burton. It's not even close. Catching in traffic again, 8 higher and 9 higher. Way, way better. Now, spectacular catch. Oddly enough, Burton is actually a little bit higher. He's an 8 higher than... Um, than even Mike Tolbert, although I will say this, both of these, or all three of these guys are pretty terrible in that attribute, so it's not really something you want to do, you don't want to be throwing up bombs to your fullback, it's not really the way to do it, but the big thing to me here, guys, is those, those rushing attributes and the fact that he's a better receiver out of the backfield, I think those are the reasons that I would personally say that Mike Tolbert is the best of the bunch, now, he is lower in what other people would consider to be the most important attribute for a fullback, and that is the run blocking. He is only an 81. So the other two that we're seeing here, Burton and Strong, are both 7 higher and 8 higher, respectively, in run blocking. We don't care about any of this stuff. Run block strength, run block footwork, completely irrelevant. Do not pay attention to that. Those attributes are not relevant for Mutt, neither is pass block strength or pass block footwork. But your pass blocking is important. The pure pass block and the pure run block attribute, those things do matter. So Tolbert is lower in the pass block, like we just said. He is actually higher, or run block, excuse me. He is actually higher than Strong in pass blocking, which is interesting. Um, he is a little bit lower than Burton in that area, but if you do set him back there to actually pass protect, he's typically going to do a pretty good job for you. So I do like that about Mike Tolbert. 
The other thing that I think is a little bit disappointing is that he does only have a 77 impact block. Now, as far as I know, impact block is basically when your guy gets that big animation where he comes up and just smacks the defense so uh, and knocks them on their ass. So he isn't going to do that as often as your other two fullbacks that we're comparing him to today. So that is your basic breakdown here of Mike Tolbert compared to Max Strong and Michael Burton. Now, the, again, the reason that I had to go in here onto Mutthead, and thanks to Mutthead for having this database for us to be able to do this, is Mike Tolbert's actually not on the auction block yet. You can see here he has not gone up on Xbox One or PlayStation 4. So I guess that just means we haven't gotten the collectibles that we need to be able to do him. So um, to do him, lull, to be able to unlock him or to put him onto the auction block. So uh, yeah, there you have it, guys. That is your Mike Tolbert fullback card. Good overall, I definitely think he's the best of the bunch for running, but he's definitely not the best for blocking. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor and drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I will be bringing you guys an interesting video later today that has to do with the out-of-position players for the upcoming Ultimate Freeze uh, things that we're going to have, the, the new sets or the new promo, whatever you want to call it. So be on the lookout for that, guys. Thanks again so much for all the support. Hope you enjoyed it. Drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.